Hello, my beautiful sweet babies. So today I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor real quick, Ask Kirby. If you guys want the latest news and notifications about gossip, and don't feel like going to sites like The Shade Room or places like Media Takeout, check out Ask Kirby. I go on there personally to listen to gossip and hear people talk, hear people talk mess. Like I went on there the other day and somebody told me some information that I didn't even know. Like, and the best part about this app is that it's anonymous. So sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I'd be in an app talking match. <laughs> anonymously. That's the best part about this app. You can talk a mess anonymously. No one knows your name. No one knows who you are. And you can basically spread all the gossip you want. So check out Ads Kirby if you guys are interested. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, my sweet babies. It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. So today, I'm doing a seafood boil. Thin ass king crabs, overpriced ass lobster. So long story short, um, most of the seafood places are trash in Florida. Like I can't find anywhere decent where they serve big, giant king crabs. Like, I gotta cook them shits myself, and I can't even. I don't. Even, I, I don't feel like cooking them shits. So, anyways, I'm gonna be enjoying my crab legs and my lobster. Ooh, and my beloved sauce. And then I'm going to talk about like a whole bunch of series of topics. So, first things first. What the fuck is this? First things first. Um, I want to tell you guys um update on my weight loss. So, this week, I haven't eaten out at all in a week. But except for this. This doesn't count because this is seafood and seafood's good for you. So, yeah, I haven't eaten, all for sh at all. I haven't eaten out at all for shit. I know there's a lot of difference. I've been going to sleep hungry because sometimes we all have a habit of overeating when midnight snacks is like the worst thing you can do. So I have stopped doing midnight snacks. If I do midnight snacks, I eat veggies or I just eat some peanut butter. And also, I know I say this every video, but please y'all worry about your health, okay? I didn't want to say nothing at first, but a lot of y'all are Listen, if you feel attacked, then I'm probably talking about you, okay? Y'all gotta watch your health, because I want y'all to live for a very long time, okay? Some of y'all be, ooh, yes, ooh, chunky. Some of y'all be on here talking, oh, fuck, my thumbnail. Some of y'all be on here talking about some, I'm eating my ice cream sundae, fried Twinkies, shrimp scampi from Red Lobster, mm-mm. Could it be me? Not be me. Anything with high fructose corn syrup, I do not eat. I've stayed away from it for a very long time, for this past three weeks. And I haven't been happier. Like, I feel less fatigued. I feel mad comfortable. Like, I used to, like, be very sluggish. Like, for those of y'all who are, like, very sluggish, sometimes don't feel like getting up. Try cutting out corn syrup for a week and see how your life changes. Okay, I gotta some way make these crabs look good. Cause I don't know where the fuck B Love be getting them thick ass crab legs. Cause I be over here like, bruh, I can't relate. Mm. I have to act like I'm eating it so the people will click on the thumbnail. So that way I could wheel in all the viewers, the new viewers. me but I'm not trying to be offensive no offense to white people but a lot of y'all really don't be knowing how to season y'all food like this shit has no seasoning on it like I feel like I'm eating this shit straight out the ocean look at it I just want some views I just look like I'm enjoying this shit That's enough. Choice, make it work, bitch. I know you ended this shit in confusion. Okay, what was I? Weight loss. 
but yeah, some of y'all need to learn the definition. Some of y'all, he's like, guys, oh, this is a gym. Hmm. Learn a thing or two. Tell me why I went on YouTube, right? And I did a whole video, a whole video, like literally. It was like, it was a mukbang, but it was like 30 minutes long. It was a lobster mukbang. And I basically talked about corn syrup and the dangers of it, what it can do to your body. And it got me demonetized. We're demonetized for you guys who don't know means I can't make fucking shit money off the video. So I can't make money off the video. And YouTube's not going to push it. And they're barely going to recommend it on certain sections of YouTube. I'm like, bitch, all I did was mention corn syrup. It was like, I didn't talk about fucking dick sucking. I didn't talk about um, fraud ass YouTubers. I literally would just talk about corn syrup and the like eating healthy and they felt like it wasn't advertiser friendly or appropriate and I'm just like mm -mm. Mm -mm. somebody was like well maybe because you were frost advertising because you know you big as shit no bitch I'm not big as shit watch your fucking mouth okay well, real shit though, like it's crazy. Like they want me to promote high cholesterol. When I did a whole video on high cholesterol, they demonetized that. When I talked about how when I used to stuff my face with Popeyes and McDonald's, and I'll make jokes about how my cholesterol is getting higher, you used to be demonetized that because they want to see a black person get high cholesterol. But nope, they ain't gonna kill me. They ain't gonna kill me. They gonna kill some of y'all, but they ain't gonna kill me. Mm. Also, I didn't mean to tell y'all, stay away from whole milk, okay? The government is poisoning that shit too. Not trying to be mean. Shout out to the government. They're trying to make their money. It is what it is. But if they ain't going to get me, they're going to get some of y'all. They're going to kill y'all, but not me. But anyways, this is coconut milk, by the way. Stay away from whole milk, y'all. Whole milk is like the devil's piss. Do y'all see what they're doing to cow's udders? Did y'all know that cows can only produce milk when they're pregnant? A lot of people don't know that. And that they're constantly impregnating cows. They're constantly impregnating cows. And then their, the, the cow's udders are turning red and fleshy and have scabs and blood all over them. And it's because they're like abusing these animals because they know that milk is such one of those things that's in such high demand. Mm. Not the best tasting milk. At least it's not gonna kill me. Also, make sure y'all take out vitamins. Um, I haven't been taking, I'm not gonna take my pills. Instead, I'm gonna, fuck, where the fuck is my spoon? I'll just use these scissors. So, y'all, make sure y'all take a tablespoon of sea moss a day. I literally cannot find my spoon. I don't feel like going downstairs. I'm already fucking out of breath. Yeah, make sure y'all take y'all uh, vitamins. Personally, I prefer sea moss. If you guys didn't know, sea moss is a plant that comes from the ocean. It's this brown looking plant. And basically, people have found ways to make it edible. So it's pretty much all natural, no sugars, none of that. This is like all an all natural plant made into gelatin where they soak it in water and it goes through a process where it turns into gelatin. So it's really, really good for you. It has literally uh, like a hundred out of all the vitamins you need in your body. It has like a hundred different vitamins. It has calcium, zinc, it has iron, it has copper. It has so many things that you need in your body that you normally get from food. So I recommend sea moss. I got it from Amazon for a lot of people keep fucking asking. Mm. I can't wait to buy Be Love Soft to support because a nigga, It's tired of sleeping over a hot stove. Drink this shit. But anyway, I want to ask y'all a question. So, 
first things first, let me just point out that I'm posting every day. I was going to do one for each channel every day because y'all know I do have two channels. My, this is my backup channel. Not my backup, my second channel. So I'm posting on both channels consistently. For one, I get more money. And plus, I'm safe just in case you try to, try to ever take me down. And I just want to make it clear that I'm posting every day, no matter what. I do on this channel or the second channel. So if I'm not on this channel, I'm on the second channel. Because I feel like I can go very far in my career, but I feel like I'm not hustling hard enough. So I'm going to be posting every day. I have my own apartment. Literally, no excuse. Videos need to be up every day, point blank. And also, I want to ask you a question. So I'm working on... I'm working on three videos. I haven't filmed them yet, actually. I'm doing a video on the truth about the Jim Crow laws, the stuff they don't teach us in school. You know, why minorities were oppressed in America and where that law even came from and how it still affects us to this day. And then I'm also doing a video on... Um, I want to do a video on one-on-one. -on -one. You remember that sitcom? It's not even an American sitcom. It's a global sitcom. So it aired in like 12 different countries. It was a black sitcom starring Kyla Pratt. Ooh, this stuff is spicy. I like a lot of hot sauce in mine and brown sugar. But anyways, it featured Kyla Pratt. And I did a lot of research. And I'm going to do a video on what happened to the show, why it ended, and where are they now for all the characters. Also, I wanted to do a video on what happened to 106 in Park. Y'all remember 106 in Park? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Which video y'all want first? I'm going to do both, but which video y'all want first? Y'all want to what happened to 106 in Park first? Or do y'all want a... What happened to one on one first? You know, where are they now? I know a lot about both, and I feel like information needs to be spread, and people need to know these things. But real shit, y'all. I'm on my shit. I'm not playing. And also, a lot of y'all told me that y'all have problems watching my unpopular opinions from two days ago because YouTube blocked it worldwide due to copyright and I was so pissed I'm like what the fuck so I'm gonna re-upload it by the time y'all see this video it should be up but yes it's gonna be uploaded okay let's try this cheap ass lobster tail Put all this green salty shit in here. But real shit. Can y'all suggest a Netflix show I should watch? Because I just finished Orange is New Black in that trash ass season. 13 reasons why. I'm on the new season. A lot of y'all kept blowing me up asking me to review it. And I haven't even finished it yet. Like, I have this tradition on my channel where I review it every season. And it's just not that good. Like, so far. Like, so far I'm just not impressed, you know? So yeah, I'm going to recommend some Netflix shows y'all can watch. I recommend y'all watch Trinkets. It's so good. It's basically about a group of girls. There's a biracial girl, there's a white girl. And there's a Latin girl. And basically they're jewel thieves, they're crazy. It, it, it's just dope. I love Trinkets. And personally, I'm a more of a Hulu person. I don't really spend that much time on Netflix. I'm very into um The Shy. If you guys don't know what the shy is, it's a it's a Showtime original. And you gotta have the Showtime add-on with your Hulu. I prefer that. That shit is good as fuck. Let me eat some more. So have, I got this little itty bitty loft loft as hell from that one piece of lobster. This is ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna make the most out of this. I'm gonna try to eat more. Because sometimes whenever I film, I poke at my food because I'm just so into the video. He'll be like, why aren't you eating? I mean now, bitch. This is how some milk bangers be. Oh my god. So good. I don't know about y'all. 
I'm a firm believer of manners and eating with your mouth closed. Some immigrants I watch, I'd be like, ooh, child. Messy eating is cool. Let's all eat with our mouths closed. Also, I'm going to be doing more cooking videos. Well, I haven't done any. But I don't, I'm not like, I don't, I don't have the patience to just sit in a kitchen all day and make a mess. So I actually rather just make a mess in my room. So I bought a burner so I could just cook right in front of y'all while it's hot. Oh, look at that. Cheap ass, tiny ass meat. I also want to do videos of me eating outrageous shit. Like, I'm going to do a video. I thought about doing a video eating a whole pig, but then I had to quit pork, so I stopped eating pork. I also want to talk about how and why I stopped doing YouTube drama. Let me make it clear. I didn't stop doing YouTube drama. YouTube drama stopped doing me. I stopped doing YouTube drama because drama on YouTube ain't popping no more. Like, I remember all T.R. Shade and Shading Teens. You remember how popping they were with the exclusives? Now, it's like every fucking YouTuber is just like on their best behavior. Their channel is dead. They're focusing on a different project. It's like, let me tell you about it. Let me, let me give y'all the real tea. Ugh, spicy. <coughs> y'all want the real tea? This is why many YouTubers don't post on YouTube like they used to. The money just isn't as good as it used to be. People on YouTube still make money. <clears throat> but basically, every, everybody's revenue who makes inappropriate content, like 30% of it, it's like 30% lower than they're used to. And maybe we'll have a discouraged it's like, mm, I don't want to post. Like, there are YouTubers who are still making like 10 grand a month, 15 grand a month, and are still just like, mm, I don't want to post. I'm not making that much. YouTube. It's not just a source of income. I feel like people need to look at it as a business standpoint. Like, people need to use it to invest into themselves. Like me, I actually wanted to invest in a daycare. Like, I think getting a daycare would be a good idea. Or, honestly, not, let's not even say daycare. Any business. Like, I thought about making my own hot sauce and doing my own hot sauce company. Because I think that would be funny as fuck and really cool. I also want a talent manager. But every time I come across someone who says they want to help me with my career, all they fucking do is waste my time. Right now, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to build my own career. I'm going to build my own shit, my own empire. And eventually, the right things will happen. I could, sometimes you never know. Sometimes you sometimes you ever just feel like the universe is pulling you in a certain direction. You turn on an opportunity and an even bigger one comes. So right now I'm just worried about growing my numbers. And then I want to invest my money. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that are in their late 30s saying, Guys, donate to my Patreon. I'm losing my Tesla. I'm losing my mansion. I'm just like, bitch. There's so many things you can do with YouTube. You can write a book. There's so much other shit you can honestly do. Like, I remember, I knew this one YouTuber. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say his name. Cause I wanna embarrass him cause we straight, we're cool. But, this nigga, if you see this video, I don't even care. Like, you'll probably just laugh. This nigga was in like a YouTube network, right? He had like a manager and he worked with YouTubers to help get you brand deals and shit. And he hooked me up with his manager. And I was talking to his manager, filling him out. And I'm like, mm, I don't get good vibes from this person. I'm not gonna work with him. I'm not gonna sign with him. So then he told me, dude, you're so stupid for not signing with him. Look what he's doing for me. He got me like t like t 10 racks just to like show up to this boot camp, YouTube boot camp. And I'm just like, look, I don't care about no fast money. I don't care about no small little sponsorships. I want longevity. Someone's going to help me with my career in the long term. So, he was like, Troy, this is what you just said. You just said you want longevity, but you're not even going to take advantage of the opportunities that are like right in front of you. And I'm like, that didn't sound like an opportunity. That sounded like a quick cash out. And guess what? That same YouTuber, he ain't making the money that he used to. His brand deals went down. 
the manager he's working with is allegedly stealing money from other YouTubers. I'm like, hmm, hmm, is that right? <laughs> Sometimes I have trouble sticking with my gut, and I even have to listen to my gut a lot more, but I'm glad I listened to my gut that time. So right now I'm just worried about building up my numbers and then hopefully, you know what, somebody will notice me, the right opportunity will come, and one of these days I can even pitch my own TV show and get it. My time will come, and for everyone watching this, your time will come. If you're in high school and you can't wait for things to go by, you're in college, or if you're working, hoping to prepare a better life for yourself, and you have goals, your time will come. If you don't have goals, your time won't come. God, this seafood, this seafood is so damn cheap. <sighs> Anyways. Tiny ass crabs, bitch. Anyways. Also. Work towards what you want. So yeah, one day I want to invest in a daycare. A business, a family business. Like... In the comment section, let me know down below if you have families who don't who don't even have businesses and most of your family members are losers. Like, let me know because I can definitely relate. Like, no one in this family, my family has businesses, it's solidified, but everyone just got regular fucking jobs. Like, everyone's too scared to invest into a business. People don't want to invest into themselves. People just want to pay bills and die. Anywho. Y'all. People be thinking I'm trolling with these weight loss tips. I'm just like, fuck you mean? I ain't trolling. I'm serious. It's okay. One day some of y'all will learn. When, when y'all find out y'all have high cholesterol. Or you're deficient. Shit, when I was younger, I wish <laughs> my parents forced me to take vitamins. There's certain things that you gotta get together. I just spilled my damn milk. Anyways, I was just like, you know what? I don't have to take care of myself now, so that way my senior citizen, 41 year old self, will think myself later. Your body is a temple, y'all. Take care of it. All y'all out here eating seafood. All y'all out here eating y'all veggies. Shout out to y'all, okay? Y'all live with MVPs. Y'all gonna live long. Unlike some people, yes, you out there eating cereal and milk or eating chips and fast food. Or you recently ate it. <laughs> a lot of people were like, even my brother was like, how you gonna say eat healthy and your ass was out here eating <laughs> six Popeye sandwiches? I didn't eat six Popeye sandwiches, bitch. I ate three. Get it right. People was like, you're a hypocrite. You ate Popeye sandwiches. No, bitch. I never said I ate the sandwiches. I ate three. Okay? So at the end of the day, I'm Gucci, and plus, that was for the video, and plus, some of y'all made me eat them sandwiches. Y'all kept asking me, oh my god, review it, you gotta review it, I'm like, oh my god, y'all forcing me to get high cholesterol. And can y'all stop commenting? Choice, the high my loves are getting out of hand. Obviously, I feel like everyone just commenting that for like, like, come on, y'all. I mean, like, some bitch commented. I was like, yeah, some bitch commented, and she was like, Toys, can you unblock me off your main channel? I'll behave. I know. I'll. Pro I promise. I'll learn how to speak to you better. 
I block so many fucking people. I don't block people who have opinions that often. I more so block people who are offensive, rude, arguing, saying nasty things to people in my comment section. When I hate people who comment something mean ten times. You bitch. You ugly. You ain't shit. You fat you ugly bitch. Ah, I hate you. Ah, I'm like bitch. Hide user from my channel so you can comment that shit ten more times, but no one's gonna see your shit, bitch. So you ain't getting likes over here. I do not play that shit. Block game off fleet. I know my crab leg eating is cringy, but y'all, I grew up poor. I'm not used to eating seafood. I didn't grow up rich like some of y'all who ate seafood every fucking weekend. I'm used to eating chicken, processed meat, nigga. Anyways, I don't want to have this misconception that I'm vegan. I'm not vegan. I'm not giving up my pork chops, bitch. I mean, I'm not giving up my steak. I mean, fuck, I can't eat red meat. You know what? I can eat steak. People are like, oh no, you gotta stay away from red No, bitch. I bought two thick ass steaks that I'm doing for a mukbang and I ain't throwing them shits out. I'm trying to eat healthy. I want to be around for a very long time. I want to eat healthy. And people be like, oh wow, you're fat. Oh, your health advice doesn't count. No, bitch. First of all, watch your fucking mouth. I'm not fat. My bones are big. Genetically, my face and skin and arms. And I genetically look like this. Two more crab legs left. Cheap ass crab legs. Before I conclude this video, if you ever want to keep asking me to talk about YouTube drama, I don't mind talking about it. Because <laughs> shit. Sure. I did it recently. I'm just like not gonna talk about these damn couples. Talk about Ari and Trey. Um, no. <laughs> That's a problem. People give ridiculous people like that energy. I'm not giving them any of my energy. Unless they do some, some crazy controversial shit that I know is gonna generate views, I'm not giving them my time and energy. I'm good love. Destroy all these stupid ass fuck ass YouTubers who do the same shit. A breakup scandal, pregnancy scandal, and I'm like, come fucking on. Like, this is why YouTube don't take black YouTubers seriously. This is why all black YouTubers are labeled as problem, boring, problematic. Like, white YouTubers are problematic, but black people are the boring problematic. They do the same shit. You got beauty gurus out here breaking the internet, breaking news, being all over CNN, and y'all over here still doing fake breakups and pregnancies. Bitch, are you fucking kidding me, my nigga? This sauce. Mm. Mm. Before we end off this video, I'm about to cough. I'm, about to <coughs> I'm still hungry. What was that for this video? <coughs> Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, my main channel. And yeah, that's that. <coughs> Bye. Someone who has hard to fight. Someone who has all your time. Someone who knows how to declare that. That man is what do you say? And you really just you believe, just you believe. Oh, is that too much?
Shara and a and a son of me. Is it too much? Is it too much? Shara and a man. Oh, is that too much? Shara and a man. Is that too much? You just gotta be perfect. I just want somebody, somebody. And treat me every party, party. And whatever that left me for me, baby. I just want somebody, party. I just want somebody to treat me like somebody, party. So how you gotta do it? Love me for me, baby. Ooh. Treat me like somebody. Guys enjoyed this little concert. Mixtape coming soon.